Hey guys, it's Target the Fed. I'm here with Tyler. We, uh, we got a pretty cool setup going on now. It's March, basketball theme. We got brackets, we got bottles. Every bottle is bottled in bond. So 100 proof, minimum of four year age statement. And we're gonna put them head to head and see how the, uh, the bracket drafts out. Just like in basketball though, uh, you don't get to pick the team you play against. So some of these bottle pairings might not seem too fair or some of them might just be a, a home run hitter where the one bottle is just going to take it all the way to the top. But we'll see how that plays out. So we've already drafted one side of the bracket and the other side of the bracket and the pairing. So everything that's on the table, if you guys can see it, I uh, know all the bottles are facing this way. So we're trying to keep some of that a mystery. Otherwise, what's the point of watching the whole series, right? So you want to start on your side or you want to start on this side? I'll let, let that be up to you. It's all you. Okay, we'll start from this side. We're gonna start from the very back, so we aren't starting with the, the best of the best. So our first matchup, Ben Holiday bottled in bonds versus Benchmark bonded. So uh, I have a little horse bounce if we wanna use those. Get a little way to measure it up so that way we're not over measuring if you wanna do it that way. Keep things pretty fair in measurement so we don't have too much in one glass, but uh, up to you on how you wanna do that. I'm gonna pour it up that way. Fresh crack of the bonded. I didn't know we were doing a fresh crack, so <laughs> I already screwed that one off. <laughs> uh. It's fancy. I don't have any of those things. They're uh, they're pretty nice. Uh. So that's gonna be glass B for me. Guess we can fresh crack that one. Oh, you. Crack it up. Twist cap too, I was surprised. I thought it was a cork. <laughs> I thought that would have been a cork. Yeah. I didn't realize it would have been corked. You want yours measured out too? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can do it for me if you want. Huh? Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, my A glass. Which one's your A glass? That's your A. There's your A glass. This will be the B. So I guess no surprise on the blind guys. We're just gonna make sure we know what we're drinking so we don't mix them up. So. That'll stay to the left, this will be to the right. I'll go ahead and get these out though. So this will be B. That will be A. Ah, all right, so Ben Holiday, fresh crack. <laughs> like a citrus like apple note on it. A lot of fruit notes on this. Maybe I gotta warm up the nose if I'm not smelling the same thing you're smelling. <laughs> we get the caramel. I do get the caramel too. Coats the glass pretty nicely. Neighbor decided they're gonna start mowing their yard right now, so hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully the pop filter helped cut a lot of that out. Or, or uh, Sounds like weed eating, but yeah. <clears throat> on, on, um, when it first hit my palate, on the very front of the tongue, it was uh, kind of grainy, but it, but, it, but it became, but that immediately went away, like super quick. And it was kind of grain forward at first. I get a lot of uh, oakiness on it too. Oh yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of oak on the back end. I'm not gonna drink it all yet. I'm gonna, cause I'm, I might I might wanna go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, two glasses of water too to help in between. Yeah, I probably should I probably should try to play fair, huh? First pour, the first pour of the day never gets a good handshake, though. I mean, I thought that was pretty good, actually. 
I, I wasn't a big fan of the amount of oak that I got on that, but that was yeah, pretty good. It wasn't super sweet, but it was it was solid. It was sweet on the nose. So this one I get oak on the nose. It's got a pretty light nose to me. Very muted nose. <coughs> So I get a lot of caramel on this one, but it's not well refined. So a lot of the oak comes through and it's a little earthy on that aspect of it. It's not as smooth and as sweet as I would like. I'm like, I'm get, it's like I'm getting some type of a baking spice in the mid palate. I'm not really sure what it is. I get a baking spice too. I get a lot of oak too and a lot of uh, caramel. I mean, I have a clear winner on that one, so. If I had, if I had to compare, just the just the quality of the flavor. B B tastes tastes like a much cheaper whiskey uh, to me than A does. Yeah. Personally. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's very refined, but these uh these bondeds, I mean, they're kind of a toss up. Just like any of the benchmark series, one might drink way better than the next one. I mean, I showed you that with uh, what was it, our single barrels or was it full purse? Um. Well, I know you showed me that with. <laughs> With uh, the Blanton's gold. <laughs> well, I, I, brought, I brought you a benchmark and I left the benchmark at your house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think I those, think those two were like very different, very like off. They they were definitely different, and and I, I think I didn't give benchmark a fair shake at first when I first tried all the bottles. And when I went back to them, it was I was fair, more fair with them. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not just agreeing with you to agree, but but. There's too much of a B is just not uh, as good of a pour to me. To me, yeah. The uh, benchmark bonded it has a lot of oakiness, and, and so does the Ben Holiday. But the uh, oakiness and the bonded is earthy and bitter. Uh, the other one's a little bit more well rounded with some of the sweet notes. So, and I get more grain and. Not too much, but I get I get more grains on the on the um, Ben Holiday, and I kind of I kind of like it on this pour. I'm gonna go with Glass A. Yep, no questions there. So that'll take our first bracket. So we'll have to make sure we edit this out and make sure we pair this up right to where we can make sure we keep track of this. I'll probably go grab a piece of paper. This will be the first take be many segments as we go through the first bracket. We'll take breaks in between and okay. that'll hopefully make it easier for you guys to follow along. So we'll have the pairs matched up on screen so you guys can see it. And easier um, for us to recover our palettes. And we, we might make this several videos instead of just one long video. So like this will be video number one of bracket number one, first two bottles. And then we'll do that and we'll make like a whole series on it. Yeah, and, and I, think, I think my final take on these two is just simply that A, which is uh, the, ben, the Ben Holiday, right? Yeah. The Ben Holiday. That's just the regular bottle. The straight, the straight yeah. bourbon whiskey. Yeah, it's, it's just a better whiskey. I mean, price point too, it's a little bit more expensive. So That's you, true. You would like to say the more you pay, the better the whiskey, but that's not always the case. And I think we're gonna find that out later on in this series. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it is it is almost, that's the, yeah, almost. Almost double. Yeah, it is almost double the price. So, <laughs> so we can't hate too much. That's bracket one, guys, and we'll see you for the next one.